hello everyone and welcome back this is if it's just me this video i'm gonna go live so please do follow if it's just me because i'm gonna go live tomorrow so that we can talk and then i'm gonna be you know sh sharing uh, like kind of analyzing more about this and um cora obidi and her husband and her sister came out today to tell cora's story it's a very brave one so Cora don't come tell us her own part of the story when this thing happened new and I came live and I was saying no way no way no way when Justin was saying that uh, Cora told her told him the reason why he's ending the marriage is because Cora said he regrets having their child you see why it is not good to judge from one side one voice and it's only anybody who have been in the situation who don't wear the shoe, who have experienced similar thing. The only person who get experience can smell the difference between mess and beans. If you the mess well, it's a be mess. Mm -hmm. You go feel tell when mess, when better mess it smell and beans smell. If you don't deal with people, they mess. <laughs> Hey God, when this thing happened, I said there is no way Cora will say a thing like that that she regrets having her child if something no day behind it. And now you guys are gonna, I believe you guys must have heard this video or must have seen it, but you can now tell yourself imagine the day that Cora said that, imagine that she said. She made this statement when she found out all that has been going on in their relationship. And when this guy mentioned that their child, Athena, was a mistake. You can imagine for a man to say that his child is a mistake. And then he was there nursing, doing all those things, playing all those roles, massaging her, even, even help to deliver her. But he told a girlfriend that the child they had for him is a mistake. My people, see men, see these men, them fear them also. So most of these men, I keep saying there are good men. I keep saying there are good men. I keep saying there are good men. And I understand the braveness that Cora took to come out on the social media to say her own part of the story. I believe one of the reasons why she was scared according to her sister was the fact of that part like how she want to say that she cheated and of course people are going to she will, i know she'll be scared like people are going to judge her because if her husband will judge her husband that they were only fiancé they were never married okay this kind of thing happened and they used him used against her up to this age that their marriage scattered and then what about other people what about other new relationship? What will happen in other relationship? This one probably they meet him. If she meets somebody else tomorrow, the person will say, "Is you know what you said? You cheated on your fiance." If he, my, this is complicated. Like I would have told myself, I would have asked myself, was it best for her to come and uh, um, make this clearance? Was it best? At some point, you'll be like, "Okay, it's okay, it's okay." There are good people. There are people that will not judge you. There are people who will not judge you. And one thing we must have learned in this very video is the fact that <laughs> and it's better to keep your past in the past too. Mistake where you don't make, keep it in the past too. <laughs> ah, that was the highest mistake of the highest order. <laughs> hey God. But the thing is that most of us want to be honest. Most of us, I am the kind of person that I love to be transparent because I don't like to keep secrets. I am the kind of person that will do this that Cora did. Eh? I am the kind of person that will do this in, because of love to just show this man that I want you to see my transparency. I am the kind of person that will do it to the man that I love. But you see now, from her mistake, I believe most of us must have learned. But then... My question and my worry is, 
Anyway, join me on my live video. Let me leave you guys to just... I will, not, I will just cut off the part that she made her statement. But this is my own opinion. Join me on my live video. If you just me tomorrow morning, between 10, let us talk about this on live video. Thank you, so much. Here. Thank you guys. For right now. <laughs> because, I mean, how did you find yourself here? Right now. Because, I mean, you were happily married, what? Three months ago. Oh, we're happily married online three months ago. <laughs> so, what happened? What happened to you? To so the best of my knowledge, I was happily, happily married. Um, we've had our own ups and downs, as every couple will. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, we were good. Okay. But I really needed to clarify because the moment you Google Cora Obidi's marriage, problems or divorce the first thing I'm, and I'm not it's on google the first thing you see is um you know it's uh when i say a blog post about you being a chronic cheat so how true is this well, it's been put out there that you are a chronic cheat so how true is that and what what do you have to say about that i'm not a chronic cheat <laughs> i am far from a chronic cheat um I'm just a woman who was honest to her husband. Um, before I came to America, I was, it was during the Trump's tenure. I was very like, do I even want to live in America? I have my career here in Nigeria. I don't know if I want to move. I love this guy, but I'm not sure. I was very, very indecisive. And I tasted from Pandora's box. I had an affair. That affair lasted like one date. I felt bad about it, but I had not moved to America. Upon getting to America, I was very, very sad that I had made that mistake with the guy that I love. And I told him the truth. I said, hey, I had an affair in Nigeria and I don't want us to ever have secrets. So here's the deal. I had an affair before I got here. He was like, how can you cheat on me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm sorry. This was before I ever got here. We got, we came, I came to America on a fiance visa. So when I got here is when we got legally married and I told him, I'm sorry. He said, you cheated on me. I said, I don't want to leave you. You're the one who I love. And that was that about that. However, for the duration of my marriage, I think that was the worst, worst, that was the worst thing that I ever did for myself in that marriage because I was trying to have closure with this man, but I, I just shot myself in the foot with that. I am not a chronic cheat. I am not a narcissist. I am not all those things that he said online. He is those things, and this is why. Um, they have been... I lost a pregnancy. They have been proof beyond all reasonable doubt that I was in a in an abusive relationship this is this is one video of he and his mistress in in Brazil I want you guys to Um, that was his mistress. In her okay. words, she they slept so much together. She thought she was gonna get pregnant. Um, <laughs> this is a chat. He said, "What's up? Everything okay?" They're basically just talking about all the things they're gonna do in Brazil and how it's gonna be such a fun day. She he goes um, goes on to say um, that he got me pregnant as a mistake and that Athena was a mistake. So he comes online and he says that um, he's divorcing me because I, I dislocated June's shoulder. But he tells his mistress that, that my second child was a mistake. Um, so this says, we can go somewhere at night, but not downtown. I want to do a different neighborhood. You can hang out with me anytime you like. I like you. I like you too, honey. So I'll be, I'll think about a party for one night what party you know it's just basically 
months and like days and day, weeks of um of of affairs while I was in, I was in Lagos and he was um in Brazil and he swore on his kids he swore on his daughter's lives that he, he has never che he has never cheated on me he has never had anything to do with anybody I'm the I'm the serial cheats I am the narcissist I am everything but there's no single one single evidence um take notes he um Mommy. Not also cheated on me physically. He also cheated on me cyberly. He would have constant. He would have constant video calls and all sorts with all sorts of women, and I would find these chats on his phone, and he would be like, um, "No, it's nothing." You know, this was what I was constantly dealing with, and he went on here to call me all the things that he called me, and you guys believed it. You guys believed it so quickly. Even after I was still bleeding, I just had a baby, guys. How could you just believe it? I, it broke my heart that women, were, men alike, were, were just telling me, you are this, you're that, you're this. You're that. It really broke my heart. So, you guys, I'm so happy this, has, this ended this way. And, of course, um, Dean, immediately Cora finished his, her live video, Dean came out to... Um, say one thing, one thing, of course, he's going to defend himself. But you know what? People that are watching this guy's video are the ones that I'm like, you guys are making him, giving him money. He doesn't deserve to make money. He doesn't deserve to make money. Well, the way I watch his video, I just carry, I collect them. If I collect the video, I go just put them for my phone. Then I go to watch them. I know they, I know they give him any credit. He does not deserve any credit. He doesn't deserve any credit. So it's quite funny that... Uh, this happened then uh, let's go get his own video and then uh, analyze it mm -hmm. we'll go to watch the go see you guys on if it just me please follow and you know support us on that platform because our blog new blog page that we're trying to grow thank you very much see you guys in the next update